you are watching Redicon. Let's look at some risk cases for rapid reporting. Case 11 is a risk film. There seems to be a lunate abnormality present. Let's zoom it up. Close up confirms a lunate fracture. Easy film. Let's move on. Case 12 is a wrist film in a child. Again, there is an easy finding, buccal fracture of the distal radius. Please remember, do not ever call a buccal fracture in adults and mature skeleton. You will be penalized for that in the exam. Case 13, a wrist film, unilateral, so likely trauma. Again, let's zoom up and it shows an undisplaced fracture of the distal radius. Case 14. Bilateral risks of a child. Look for the metaphyseal abnormality of radius and ulna bilaterally. Fraying of metaphysis is obvious. This is rickets. But just before you move on to the next film, look at the edge of the film. There is a fracture of distal ulna present as well which must be picked up to get full marks. Case 15. This film shows a clear fracture of right distal radius. However, it has been added to mention another point. There is increased gap between scaphoid and leonate bones. This gap is more than the distance between other carpal bones. Let's compare it to the case example we saw previously, highlighting this difference. This gap signifies scapholeunate ligament injury resulting in this increased gap. This is also known as Terry Thomas sign or Madonna sign referring to increased gap between teeth of a celebrity. K16 is a lateral wrist view. Let's zoom it up. There is a small avulsion fragment at the dorsal aspect of carpal bones. It would be in keeping with avulsion fragment from the dorsal aspect of triquetral bone. This is classic location of a triquetral avulsion fragment. If a similar fragment is seen little distally near the corpometacarpal joint, then it could signify a hamate avulsion or metacarpal base fracture. Case 17. Here is the scaphoid series. Take your time and zoom up the images one by one. It is pretty easy to see the scaphoid fracture, a classic for a rapid reporting pile. Case 18 is lateral and scaphoid view of wrist. Let's zoom it up. An easy to spot scaphoid fracture. It is worth remembering that in real exam and real life, more than 80% abnormalities are easy to spot as long as you follow a checklist and review areas one by one. Case 19. Images of left wrist, immature skeleton, Zoomed up image shows no significant abnormality. It's a normal film. Let's summarize the wrist findings for rapid reporting. The main abnormalities can be radius and ulna fractures, scaphoid fractures, increased scaphole unit gap denoting scaphole unit ligament injury, dorsal avulsion fragments which could be proximal or represent triquetral avulsion, or it could be distal ones which could signify an hamate or metacarpal evolution. Review areas for the wrist will be thumb or fourth, fifth CMC fracture dislocation, capitate and lunate fractures and dislocation. This video is presented in collaboration with Radicon Institute of Radiology. You are welcome to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for updates. For more modules in Radiology CMEs, please visit our website www.radicon.org.